There he is. I see him smiling back at me from uh, right near my favorite city in the world, right near Philadelphia. Tom, thanks for giving us some time today. It's a pleasure to have you as our first OEM on the State of the Union show. Well, glad to do it, Paul. Thanks for having me. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, great. So first of all, um, I'm really happy that we were able to partner with Feeding America. I know that Subaru um, is an extensive partner of Feeding America. Um, and, and I recently you did something really special for them, I believe. We did. We donated uh, 50 million meals to Feeding America given the COVID crisis. It was interesting. The week of the 13th when, I'm sorry, the March 13th when all this started to happen around the middle of March, we saw a lot of the lines that were occurring in San Diego and San San, San, uh, San Antonio, mm -hmm. and we got the idea and saying, what can we do to help support what's going on in the country today? And we mm -hmm. came up with the idea of helping Feeding America, and it's worked out great. Oh, that's there's there's no better way to serve when people are hungry. Um, so thank you for doing that. Thank you for kind of cluing us in a little bit on a good charity to follow. So uh, it's just good alignment there. So. Um, I want to talk about, like, let that be the, the setting point of the theme for our conversation, leaning into the community. Um, Subaru, in my opinion, is a brand that really understands itself well um, as far as all the OEMs go. And I've always respected the work that's happening with Subaru because I think it's very well connected. Um, you and your network of dealers, um, I, I think, are, are to be celebrated for leaning into the community. Why do you feel that, that that's such, supposed to be such an important part of your brand. I know that's a, like a general question to everyone's like, well, because community is important, but you have a special uh, special place in your heart for it. Can you explain that a little bit? Well, we couldn't really do what we do if we didn't have the support of all of the local communities around the country. Our retailers couldn't be, couldn't be profitable. They wouldn't have uh, uh, thriving businesses if they weren't supported by the local community. So this is our way of kind of giving back. So what we do every year, we've got these, we call them love promise events that we run every other month, basically. So we have Subaru Loves the Environment in April, Subaru Loves to Care in June, which is kind of how we came up with the Feeding America idea. And then we have Subaru Loves to Learn in August, Subaru Loves Pets in October, and then of course Subaru Share the Love at the end of the year where we and our retailers together partner uh, to give $250 to either four national charities or a local charity or two that a retailer would have in their local area. And over the last 12 years since we started this program, we've given over $176 million to both national and local charities. And the preponderance of that money now goes locally into the local communities. And I go to a lot of these check presentations. I gotta tell you, it's quite moving because you give these local charities 25, 30, $40,000 and like the hair on the back of your neck stands up because they can be so efficient. Yeah. And particularly now when, when these local charities are really gonna need it because of the economy and economic situation that we find ourselves in. Mm -hmm. So we find that this is a really good way for our retailers to not just donate money, mm -hmm. but more importantly, to get involved and donate their time and the time of their associates in with these local charities so that they can really help of what's going on in their own local communities. You know, I feel like that must have an obvious impact um, within the family of your retailers, like when you get together and the chatter and the talk that happens behind the scenes. Well, it's life changing, right? I went, I'm, I'm a product of um, Villanova. And I remember my first, my first class there was a philosophy class that I had to take. It was given by this gentleman named Father Van Flutteren. And I told the story of when he first came out and he said, he goes in, out comes out and he says to all the people that are in the class, he says, what do you want to be remembered for in life? And just left it at that. And he said, I'm not expecting you to answer that now, but he said, but if you can't answer that, by the time you get to a certain level of your life, he says, your life will have been a failure. So that's kind right. of what we've tried to do is try to, Look at, okay, what can we do to help people and help help the individual areas that our retailers are located? Because all business is local. Yeah. Um, and it's about helping each of those local communities be better so they're better places to live, better places to work. That's, you know, the fact that I, my belief is that like when you give your time, it's, it's more difficult than giving money. Like you'd have to give a lot of money to the point where it really hurt, you know. Um, and most people won't do that to a specific event, but even giving a couple hours of your time on a Saturday or on an evening, maybe including, I'm assuming probably families are included with this. Um, oh yeah. I think that that can be one of the most, like you said, life-changing events that you can do because it, it impregnates your culture at that point. Right, and um, you change people's lives. And to give people meaning, like we sell cars, we service cars, to find meaning in that, by giving back and through investing in the community. Um, can you, can you, like, what does that do for your relationship with your customers? Well, obviously the customers then understand and appreciate what we're doing in their local community because they see 
you see not just the dollars going back, but they also see the volunteerism that the retailers are putting forth. Mm -hmm. And now they get they get behind it because they don't they don't know. In many cases, you know, a lot of a lot of these uh, organizations have networks within their local communities. And so now the customers is aware. Mm -hmm. So now the customer feels good about doing business with us and then recommends us and our retailers to their friends and family members. So it kind of helps explode and balloon the uh, the name of Subaru out there amongst you know the general populace. But the point your point earlier, Paul, is really valid because it's easy to write a check. Yeah. Anybody can write a check. Yeah. But though to, but giving your time mm -hmm. and then making sure that your time is well spent and how it and getting really involved. It, it changes people's lives. It changes their perspective on things because there's so many people that are out there that are suffering, particularly now mm -hmm. in this economic situation that we're in. We've, I mean, I never thought they would close an economy down like they did. Yeah. And, but, but but they have. And look at all the dislocation that's occurred. I saw somewhere you know, just before the just before this were five million people unemployed. Now there's 36 million people that are unemployed. Think about that in just the last 10 weeks and the need that develops because of all this and for us to help and to be part of it and our retailers to be involved and be part of it. That's what we should be doing. That's why we've been put on this earth to help each other and to make our societies and our people better. That's what we want, that's what we want to try to do. I love that perspective to be a contributor regardless of what you do. Um, Tom, I know you have a tight schedule. I want to respect your time. I want to point out that um, having you come on and I think just be, be a leader in this um, encouragement to give of our time, not only our time, but our money, but especially our time and the impact that that has not only on your organization's culture and Subaru's culture, but uh, more importantly, the communities and like the lives. I think your encouragement and leadership there um, is something that we can all walk away um, feeling a little bit better and a little more motivated to do it. And I know you're busy. Yeah, well, thank you. But you know, the other thing we try to say to our retailers too is it's, it's more than just selling somebody a car. Mm -hmm. right anybody can sell a car mm -hmm. right there's there's 31 brands out there and there's what 17 manufacturers that are out there that want to sell somebody a car but what we want to do is be more than that we want to be we want to we like to say to our retailers you're more than just a retailer you're more than just a dealer mm -hmm. and par being part and tying yourself into the community like that makes you more yes it makes it makes it makes and it and, and it makes people want to do business with you that way that's it does i love that so feeling it, it, it makes you more that puts the control. If you, if you want to be more, you want to be more impactful, guess what? You can make this simple decision to give your time that automatically makes you more. And you know right. it. That's, right. And we, all, and we all can do that. But thanks for having me on the show. I appreciate it. I can't wait to come back again. Oh, we're going to have you back again, and we're going to do all kinds of fun stuff. And, and I know you have to go, but if anyone on your staff wants to tune in, the next session that's going to be is a, a retail design agency. They actually did a what if about Subaru's experience in the midst of COVID. It's really cool, I got to look at it. So I uh, will send it to you after the fact, but uh, it just happened Me to be too. Subaru. Well, thanks. So Tom, thank you. Uh, best of luck in the rest of your day and thanks for leading us in serving the communities and leaning in. Thanks for having me, Paul. Take bye. care. Bye-bye. Bye now.